Welcome to this WKO 90 second tutorial on using time ranges. When you first load and sync your WKO to Train Peaks, you'll get a selection of default time ranges ranging from this week all the way through your past number of years. You can edit these time ranges for the data you see by simply clicking on this gear wheel down below. If you click on the little arrow, you can add distance, duration, and work, and you'll notice now in those time ranges, I now have distance, duration, and work has in TSB, and if I want to add the actual dates, I can do that also. So now I have the ability to customize those date ranges. I can deselect them and select really as needed for my views and my needs. Um, you can create custom ranges very simply. If I click the plus button, it will give me an option. I'm going to create a new range and I'm going to name it build 21 and close. And you will notice I now have build 21 as a selected range. Now, if you see quickly here, I have a couple of builds. Let's say you have an athlete that you've been doing a build phase or a base phase and you name your phases that way. The filter bar also is a powerful search. So if I search build and hit enter, it will only show me red time ranges that I have named as build. Finally, it is simple enough to delete time ranges. Let's say I don't want that build 21 and I hit minus and you will notice it's gone. 